Just wanted to show you what I have to do in order for my gypsy to show up on camera. I have to turn off all the lights. I have one aught light that I have above my station, but I have it turned sort of facing away from everything I'm doing, just so I have enough light to see what I'm doing. But I'm going to try and show you some of the things that I do on my gypsy and see if maybe we can answer a few questions. I'll do this as the first one, and this is just continuing on from my um, scrapbook mini that I did today on Ustream. But I'm just going to show you how the page is set up. All right, all right, ladies. As you can see, when I did my class today to cut out the mirror, this is the layer. This is the main piece. No. I'm sorry, this is the main piece, which is silver, which is what I did with the um, the shiny paper, mirrored paper. And this is the black. Now, I think I told you that on when I'm planning my page, this entire section, everything within this block is done in black. So that way I can put all the items that I've downloaded into one section and do all the black cuts at the same time. Now this one was the silver, this one was the red in the seat cushions, and this one was the pad was the um, the drawers for my desk. Okay, so those were two different colors, and when I put place them, I can see because of the grid on my gypsy, I can see that it's one, two, three, four inches by one, two, three, four, by four inches. So. I can use up most of that space with the mirrored paper. Okay, so as you can see, the grid, I don't know if you can see the grid. Hang on, I'll back up a little bit. And then you can see the grid. See the numbers? You've got your numbers up here. So you've got 1 to 12 on here, 0 to 12 up the top, and 12 to 0 at the bottom on the side. So what I find is easiest is to do it in quadrants. The smaller you get your pieces of paper, the harder it is because you really do have to pay attention to whereabouts you're placing it. When you're actually doing it on your Cricut machine, it's in order of what you punch it in as. So it's really hard for you to be able to figure out what piece of paper goes where. I don't know how else to make that seem easier to you. Um, and if I could do it online and show you, maybe what I'll be able to do is take a photograph of this and hold that up so you can see how I have it mapped out on the grid and how I can figure out the numbers in the quadrants. That's one question that you've asked me. Um, what other things have you asked me? I'm going to try and get a list of questions that you have. Like I said, I've said it once and I'll say it probably a few times over. The Gypsy is wonderful for its function of being able to place things where you want them and be able to take it on the road and do it. Um, I take it on holidays with me and I I know the pictures that I've taken on holidays and how I want to put the page together. I can actually with a 12 by 12 sheet, I can figure out what I want to put together on my um, photo scrapbook page. I can put a title, I can do a sunburst big enough that I can put a picture in it. Um, there's so many different options when you take it with you. But I could probably take one of those netbooks or little notebook uh, PCs and have shortcuts a lot or the other one, um, Design Studio by Provocraft, either of those would do exactly the same thing as long as you have a screen showing you what your grid is and what your page is going to look like, you could easily take that with you also. So you have to figure out what works best for you. I like this one because it's small, it's compact, it's my video game that while the kids are playing their video game in the back seat, I can be doing mine in the front seat with my husband driving. <laughs> okay, get that clear. I'm not driving while I'm doing it. So, um, you sort of have to figure out what's best for you. But that being said, um, back to the gypsy. 
Now there's lots of different things that you can do and I was show I was talking about how you can erase certain things. Now let me go find another. I'll go back and start again with something new. And then let's see. Hmm, I'll go into Doodle Charms because Doodle Charms has lots of simple graphics. Doodle Charms. Okay, so let's go say what would I like to do? How about if we go and do the watermelon? And I'm going to make it, well, just for the sake of being able to see it better, I'll do it maybe in a number eight, like eight inches big. That's big. There's a watermelon. You can see that. Okay, so what could I do? I could take off the rind if I wanted to do a layer where it's all red. This doesn't make sense to me, but okay, let's take out the seeds, for instance. Okay, so I'm going to go to the advanced setting and I'm going to push on this button. Let me just move back a little bit so you can sort of see the buttons I'm pushing. Oops. I don't know, can you still see it? Okay, so the button that I'm going to push is this one over here and this is the hide button. So it comes up as the watermelon. Okay, I think you can see that. So see how it's red on that line? If I push on this word hide, it will take it away. Well, I don't want that one to go away. So I want the seed to go away. See, you push on the seed and then push hide and it almost makes it disappear. You can still see that it was there and then push on the next one and push hide. So you go through all three seeds and push hide. And then when you push OK, you've got a piece of water, a seedless water, watermelon now. <laughs> so it does have neat options on this. I don't know offhand. I've never tried it on Shortcuts a lot or on Design Studio. I spend more time doing everything on the Gypsy. So I have the two programs on my computer and I don't use them. I really should take the time, but I've got time. I haven't got time to do that because I'm doing other things. So at the moment, that is to learn all these different um, products, you have to really spend a lot of time with them. And once you've learned one to move on to the other, you almost go back to this one and forget what you were doing before. So I like to stick with what I've got and what works for me. So this is the thing that works for me. Okay, so now I'm going to erase this and I can go back to the basics and just erase it. It's a bit of a crazy looking witch, isn't it? Yeah, the mirror was cute, isn't it cool? <laughs> oh, I love it. I think it's so cute. Well, I'm going to try, this is the next class that I'll be doing next Monday to continue on with the mini. And I'm going to try, if possible, to sort of organize it so that you guys can see some of the things that I do on my gypsy. If you can see how I lay it out beforehand, like I might go through it with you and sort of show you how I set it up so that I can actually cut out everything at once. Um, things like tags and that I don't tend to do on the gypsy. I'll cut out the images, but the tag itself I tend to do freehand or just cut it out on my, uh, my guillotine or cutter or whatever you want to call it. But uh, the layering, this is all layered. This is, there's two pieces of paper for the gravestone. Then there's another layer of the grass and the skull head. Then all of the cracks in the cracks in the gravestone are all done by pen. I think it might be my gray pen or my white pen. Um, this guy here, he has four layers. He's got the white at the back where it shows through for his shirt. 
and his, his eyes and his eyeballs are black. Now then the second layer would be the black and that goes from head to toe. The black does but it's cut out where his neck is and what I've done is I've put that through my cuddle bug or my big shot whichever so that it's textured for his jacket. It looks like tweed <laughs> and his hair got it too so that's fine. Then the next layer is silver and that does his little bolts and under his eyes his mouth will also show silver. Then I've done the gray, the green on top and that shows the scar through it and his hands. So there's a lot of layers to these little little characters and if you can cut out a couple of different characters at the same time, trust me it saves a lot of time of having to put more and more sheets in. Um, same with her. She's a few layers. I've done the first layer is white so that her hair shows through there. Then I've cut two of the dress and hair. I had to cut two different ones because I wanted the hair to be black. I didn't want her dress to be black so I did a different solid pattern. Uh, I did two different cutouts of the of the second layer. Then the third layer was her skin and her hands. And then I've just used sequin um, stickles for her eye, eye makeup. <laughs> but she's got layers on who I used the same pattern that I did here. I used for grass below her feet to ground her and same with him. So I'll try and try and organize this one a little differently because it probably won't take as long as the last class did and that way I can sort of put it all together and hopefully you'll get an understanding of how um, I use the gypsy to create the cutouts. Putting it together that's fun to watch but to actually show you how the gypsy works is what I want to get cross to everybody. Thanks. Bye.